All right, let's construct the ice table. Initial, change, equilibrium. So you are starting with 0 0.45 molar HNO2, and you are starting with 0 0.40 molar of NO2 minus. The NO2 minus comes from the NaNO2. Okay. And this is where the analysis starts. I will let x be equal to the amount of HNO2 that reacts with H2O to reach equilibrium. So this is x. Initially, we don't have any H3 plus. H2O is a liquid, so we we can disregard it. <clears throat> so look at the balanced equation. For every one HNO2, you have one H3O plus and one NO2 minus. So if X amounts of HNO2 are reacting, that means X amounts of H3O plus are produced as well as X amounts of NO2 minus because it's one is to one is to one. The equilibrium concentrations on the reactant side, the left side, is the initial minus the change because the assumption is you are using up reactants. So 0 0.45 minus X. On the product side, the assumption is you are making products. So it's the initial plus the change. 0 plus X is equal to X. And for NO2, it's 0 0.40 plus x and so we do ka is equal to products over reactants that would be concentration of h3o plus to the first concentration of no2 minus to the first over the concentration of HNO2 to the first. And these are all equilibrium values. Let's plug in the values. Ka is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. What is H3O plus at equilibrium? It's X. And what is NO2 minus at equilibrium? It's 0 0.40 plus X. And what is HNO2 at equilibrium? It's 0 0.45 minus X. <clears throat> okay, we're doing weak acid. So that there X is a lot smaller than 0 0.45 and X is a lot smaller than 0 0.40. So <coughs> we can dis <coughs> disregard that as well as that one. So then our expression becomes, our expression becomes zero or 4.5 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 is equal to x times 0 0.40 over 0 0.45. Uh, we are solving for x, so we rearrange, we cross multiply. x then becomes 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 multiplied by 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.40 and you should get you should get 5.1 times 10 to the negative 4 times 10 to the negative 4 and if you look at the ice table x is equal to the the concentration of h3o plus at equilibrium equal to concentration of h3o plus at equilibrium. So then the pH 
is equal to negative log concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium. It would be negative log of 5.1 times 10 to the negative 4. And you should get a pH of 3.3. 3.3. So this here is part A. Part B, calculate the pH using the Henderson equation. So the Henderson equation is the pH of a buffer is equal to the negative log of the Ka of the acid plus the log of the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of the acid. Let's plug in the values. pH is equal to negative log 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 plus the log of the base is 0 0.40, the acid is 0 0.45. And if you do the math, you should get also 3.3.